Hey guys, Amanda Helly, DJ Iceberg 365, anchor for RYC Praise News. This week, a faith-based feature film produced in Abingdon, Virginia, strikes a global distribution deal. A local startup production company signed a five-year distribution agreement with Bridgestone Multimedia Group, a $27.5 million a year media distributor. The production company, Cross Purposes Production, will release its newest feature film, Found, on DVD and streaming services globally. Found is the story of a deputy sheriff, Janelle Brennan, who discovers an orphan teen boy named Finch high up in the Appalachian Mountains, where he has been living off the grid since he was born. Deputy Brennan moves heaven and earth to try and find the boy a safe place to acclimate to the modern world, which he has never seen, and soon resigns to the fact that her home and her unenthusiastic family may be the only option she can find. Trouble quickly brews as a gas and oil company shows up with plans of their own for Finch. Everyone soon finds themselves steeped in difficult trials that will test their faith. James, based on James 1 verses 2 through 4, and that will either make them stronger or catch them up in the waves. The film is rated PG for thematic elements and is family friendly, and you can find more at wcyb.com. Next up, another film story Jason Eaton posted on Facebook recently. Huge announcement, his son Brayden has been cast in the full feature film called Pulled from Darkness, adapted from a true story and directed by George A. Johnson. Brayden will be reprising his role as one of the three children abducted from the short film version. The full feature film version will be in theaters and on streaming platforms. This has a phenomenal cast, which also features Mark Lowry, and they are so excited. Find more at facebook.com slash Jason Eaton. Tim Tebow urges Christians to stand against abortion, saying we are called to be pro-life. Former NFL star Tim Tebow encouraged Christians to stand strong for life Friday during the virtual March for Life noting that sports trophies and achievements are temporary, but the fight to protect the voiceless is worthy. You know, I've given so much of my life for sports, but that's for trophies that rust, Tebow said, according to Town Hall columnist Katie Yoder. But you see, being passionate about Jesus and passionate about those that have been thrown away and neglected and forgotten, that is worthy. He told pro-lifers not to lose hope or give up the fight, but to continue advocating for life at all stages, born and unborn. You see, when you're pro-life, I believe that we're called to be pro-life in every area, for the unborn, for the hurting, for the orphan, for the thrown away, for the special needs, for the trafficked, and for all of humanity, Tebow said. A Heisman Trophy winner, football analyst, and advocate for people with special needs, Tim Tebow has his own pro-life story. He told the March for Life viewers that his mother chose life for him in difficult circumstances while his family served as missionaries in the Philippines. He encouraged pro-lifers to always be pro-life, all the time, everywhere, no matter what. Read the full story at lifenews.com. RYC Praise News seeks to inform you about what is going on in all the cities dealing with gospel music, fashion, and sports. We have a live 365 station for RYC Praise News. You can check it out at bit.ly slash RYC Praise News. We're accepting music submissions, podcasts under 30 minutes, and DJ mixes 30 to 60 minutes long. Please submit those to RYC Praise News at gmail.com. Drop our Facebook page a like at facebook.com slash RYC Praise News. Subscribe to RYC Praise News on YouTube. And follow us on Twitter at NewsRYC and Instagram at RYC Praise News. I hope you enjoyed this week's report. Share this video and leave story suggestions down in the comments. I'd also love to hear your feedback on this week's video. I'm DJ Iceberg 365 for RYC Praise News. I'll see you next week.